Hi, all you happy hookers. You've got Sammy here. Uh, today we're going to be completing the Gothic Granny Square as part of our 365 Granny Square a Day Crochet Along project. Uh, I've gotten started and done round one, um, which is pretty simple. I've just done a magic ring. If you're not comfortable with magic ring, of course, do a chain of four. Um, so let's stitch together and then you want eight single crochet in around your ring. Uh, I'm just going to finish off with this color and switch over to my second color uh, for round two. So I will meet you back here in just a moment. Eight single crochets into your center ring for round one. See All right, I'm back, baby. I've joined my second color in uh, with a slip stitch into any single crochet is perfectly fine. I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I am going to single crochet into the same stitch. Got a nice little loop happening there. I'm going to chain one, skip the next single crochet, and then single crochet into the second, chain five, and single crochet into the same stitch. Pretty sure you guys will be able to see where this is going. <laughs> uh, chain one, skipping the next stitch, doing a single crochet into the second, chain five, Single crochet into the same stitch. You see in some corners. I'm seeing corners. Chain one, skipping the next stitch. Single crochet into the second. Chain five. Single crochet into the same stitch. Get in there. Chain one and then slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet. I thought I missed a chain of five there, but I didn't. It's there. All right, we are ready for round three. So I'm just going to, I'm in the single crochet. I'm just going to slip stitch into the chain five space. Going to chain three, which will count as our first double crochet. And do four double crochets into that corner chain space. One, two, and four. So it's actually five because that chain of three was our first double crochet. I'm going to chain three. And work five double crochet into the next chain five space. So 
same all the way around chain three to separate them and five double crochet into the corner chain spaces I'm going to let you guys finish off on your own because I think I need to make a camera adjustment here uh, I am going to be finishing off with this color at the end of the round and joining my nice green back on I'll see you all shortly okay we're back uh, I finished off that round and I have joined um, my second color into the first double crochet of a corner. Doesn't really matter which corner, just make sure you drop joining in the first double crochet. Now we're gonna chain three, which will again count as our first double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Three double crochets into the next, which would be the middle stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're just going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches which will finish off our corner now we're not going to work into this chain three space but we are going to work into the chain one space from round two we're going to work a long double crochet. So. We're just going to pull our chain three down. We've got a nice long stitch and my tail's in the way. Get out of there. Okay nice long stitch <clears throat> so next up we're back to our center spaces we're going to do a double crochet into the top of the chain that one into the second double crochet Three into the third, which is our center double crochet. Three and two to finish off. Then we're back to a long stitch into the chain one space from round two. And we're continuing the same pattern all the way around. I'll let you guys finish off with round four. I am leaving this color attached for round five. No, apologies, I'm not. I'm finishing off with this color um, for round four and then joining on my other color for round five. So I'll see you shortly. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, finished round four, ready for round five. So I've gone back to pink and I'm, it's a little bit of a weird round. So in the last round, we skipped over the chain three spaces uh, from round three. This round we're attaching our yarn with a slip stitch onto that chain three that we skipped so joined in there chaining three which will be the first double crochet and then doing another four in the same space Going to 
has skipped that long double crochet. Excuse me. I skipped the long double crochet and the next double crochet. Then I'm going to do a single crochet into. I don't want that tail on my front. Get over the back. I'm going to do a single crochet into the corners. But the first double crochet corner space from the previous round. I'm going to chain three, skip the next double crochet, go into the corner double crochet with a single. next one skip the next chain three skip the next single crochet into the second so we're framing up those corners and filling in where we've pulled down. So we're back to working around this chain three space. We're going to go in and do five double crochet. One, two, three. I'm going to guide this along to the next corner and then leave you guys to it. So we've done our five. I'm going to skip the long double crochet and the next one. Go into the third with a single crochet. Chain three. Skip. A double crochet, single crochet in the next, chain three, skip, single crochet in the next. So we're going to follow that exact same pattern all the way back. We're going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain three here which was behind um, and I am going to continue working in pink for round six so don't finish off and I'll see you back here okay. soon. We are back and ready for round six. Just when you thought you knew where the corners were we're going to change all of that. <laughs> Chain three which will count as our first double crochet double crochet into the next stitch the third stitch the center one we're going to put in two double crochet one and two a chain of three And another two double crochet. That's right, it looked like sides, but it's corners. We're going to double crochet into the next two stitches to finish off the corner. One and two. Am 
we've got to get down the side. And do two single crochet into the chain space. One and two. And the next as well. One and two. And we're back at a corner. So I'll do this one and then I'll let you guys continue on on your own. So a double crochet into the first stitch. A double crochet into the second stitch. Two into the third. chain of three one two three and another two double crochet into the same stitch double crochet into the next two stitches Two single crochet into the chain space. One, two, two single crochet into the next one and two. And we're back at another corner. So you can see how our corners are starting to form now. Uh, at the end of round six, I'm going to be finishing off with this colour and joining my green back on. Of course, if you want a different colour every row, that's fine as well. Finish off round six. If you want to follow along with the video, go around, uh, back around three and a half minutes. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Hi, lovely people. Back and ready to do round seven. Um, so I've just slip stitched into a corner chain three space. And then I've done eight uh, chain of three. And then eight treble crochet um, from there I'm going to skip the next four stitches work in excuse me in front of the two single crochet one two three four so here's our two single crochet I'm going to work three double crochet into the skipped double crochet from round four. So that's here. Going down here. Double crochets, apologies. One. Two. And three. I'm going to keep them quite long. So they sit over the top. Then we're going to chain one and do the same again into the next mix. Missed double crochet with three long double crochet. So the 
sitting sitting over the top of the two single crochet working three double crochet in the skip double crochet from round four so this is seven six five for one we're going to repeat three times so we're in a corner space we don't need to chain anything just nine treble crochet and then we're following the same pattern so if you go back around three minutes you can follow along with the video otherwise after you've completed your nine treble crochet into the corner you'll just need to skip the four double crochet and work your long three double crochets into those skipped rounds uh, skipped stitches from round four so continue around slip stitching into our starting chain at the beginning I'll see you all shortly okay back again round seven completed <coughs> I've finished off and attached my pink again I've attached into the third treble crochet of the corner with a single crochet and chain three skip the fourth into the fifth oops, with a single crochet <coughs> chain of three single crochet into the same stitch chain of three single skip one single crochet into the next so you can see how our corners are working it's a little chain spaces now we're working behind round seven in each of the next six skip stitches of round six so easiest to just pull it forward I'm gonna half double crochet in the next Hmm. Working behind round seven, treble crochet. That's what I miss in each of the next six stitches. So, work to get the first one out. That's not a treble. One, two. into the next six stitches with trebles. So there's one, two, not doubles, treble trebles. Five. You can see how I'm moving some of round seven out of the way to access those stitches from round six. Last one. The treble. Oops. So we've got <clears throat> six treble crochet there worked behind into the skip stitches from round six. I'm going to half double crochet into the chain one space from round seven. And then we are working behind again with treble crochet into these six stitches. working the corner the same way as we did the first one when we get to it so after these uh, that's a double 
after these six treble crochet I'm going to let you guys rewind if you want to follow along with the video for the corner or just follow the same pattern and work your way around um, at the end of this row bleh, sorry in the end of this round uh, I'm not actually going to be finishing off with this color I'm going to be using it again on round nine um, we are nearly finished this gorgeous square and we're starting to really square off the corners so that's okay. <clears throat> that's why I'll be continuing in this color so go back about four and a half minutes once you've done your six treble crochet um, ready to do that corner working a single crochet into the third treble uh, with the chain three spaces I'll see you all back here same color still on ready to complete round nine okay we're back we've left um, that color attached instead of finishing off this round we're a little bit bubbly but um, that'll all start to straighten out with this round um, <clears throat> so we're gonna slip stitch into the first chain three space gonna chain one do a single crochet into the same chain space gonna do five single crochet into the second chain three space which will be our corner two five single crochet into the next chain three space and we have finished our corner we we'll start working down uh, our first side so we're gonna skip the single crochet and do a single crochet into each of the next six treble crochet stitches one two four five and six we're going to chain one and skip the half double crochet and then do a single crochet into each of the next six stitches and we're back at a corner ready to work in those chain three spaces again two and single crochet all the way across our first chain three space gets a single crochet our second which is the pointy part of the corner gets five single crochet and we're ready to work down the next side so all single crochets for this round I think you guys can handle this uh, if you want to follow along with the video one two three four go back around two and a half two minutes forty seconds and we'll be at the beginning of the first corner well, we really are just squaring up now um, this is our second last round we're going to slip stitch at the end. I'm going to continue using the same color again to finish this square off so that that green is really popping. They are quite hyper colored together. Um, and round 10, as I said, is our final round. So I'll meet you back here soon to finish that one. Okay, round nine completed. Ready to do our final round, round 10. Um, so working in the same color, I'm just going to chain one. Do a single crochet into the same stitch. Single crochet into the next two stitches. Now we're at a the very corner one. Three single crochet into the same stitch. One, two, three. 
three. Single crochet into the next nine stitches. Really just our squaring off round. So we're going to single crochet all the way down to the chain one space. Then we're going to single crochet once into the chain one space and all the way along to the next corner where we pop three into the very corner stitch, one into every other stitch. So I know you guys have definitely got this one. I hope that you have found this video helpful. I hope you have enjoyed working out this gorgeous square. I really love the textures. I was a bit iffy about doing it in colours that are, um, are so hyper. But in real life, looking at the texture, it's just gorgeous and I love it. So <clears throat> I hope you're as happy with yours when you're finished as I am with mine. If this, you have found this video helpful, please give us a like. It really does help improve our numbers and get our videos out um, for more people to access. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.